Hello and welcome to the PC Mag Labs. I'm Dr. Greenwald, Professor of HGTVology. I'm going to show you how to calibrate this and any HGTV. All you need is a Blu-ray disc with THX's optimizer software and a set of blue filter glasses. I have the official THX calibration disc right here, but unfortunately it's not for sale. However, you can pick up the Terminator 2 Judgment Day Skynet Edition Blu-ray disc, which includes the THX software on it. Also, it's an awesome movie. Also, there are robots. Now, as for these glasses, you can order them for about two bucks from THX.com. Let's get started. Step one, contrast. Although for some TVs it is called white level, for other TVs, such as the Sony, it is called picture. This first test will show eight white boxes. What you want is to go into the contrast slash picture slash white level setting, push it up to the maximum, and slowly bring it down until all eight boxes are distinct, and you can see a gradient between them. Once that's done, contrast is set. Next, black level, strangely known as brightness. Don't think too hard about that. It's the same deal except for this test. You will see a THX logo surrounded by nine rows of boxes going from black to white. They're on each side, so if the little uh, sliding thingy covers up one of them, you can check the other. Now, as before, push levels up to the maximum and slowly pull it down until the ninth box is the same level of black as the background. The eighth box should pop out just a little bit, but otherwise should seem almost completely black as well. Now, you set the... Move it off. There we go. 51. Pretty good. Now that that's done, we need to take these out. Step one is tint and hue for color. These look like magenta and teal, turquoise, and greenish blue. Let's say seafoam. But, when you put these neat glasses on, they all look blue. That's not just because these are blue, this is because they are a special kind of blue, which lets you confirm that the tint settings, that is the balance between red and green, are correct. Put the glasses on and adjust until all the letters seem to be the same shade of blue. And once that's done, you've set the tint. Now, next step is color. It's pretty much the same as tint, hue, red, green. It's another setting. But with this one, the letters are blue and white. So put the glasses back on. And Make your minute adjustments until the colors just about match. You can see for yourself. Looks pretty good. I would say so. Now, once all those settings are confirmed, you can check this little summary picture test thing. Everything should look uh, bright, but not overexposed. You should be able to see details in the highlights and the shadows. Nothing should really seem off. It should be just right. And there's one more setting to double check. Odds are your TV is going to be fine, but you still want to double check the aspect ratio. So this final test should show you a circle. This is a circle. Uh, if your aspect ratio is wrong, for instance, if you have it set to, say, normal or 4 to 3, it'll look like an oval. If you have it set to wide zoom, it'll look a bit oblong. But if you have it set to 
well, the correct setting for the Blu-ray disc, it'll look like a circle. This is a circle. Now that that's done, congratulations. THX optimizing is now complete. You can tell because the disc says that. Also because your TV will look just a little bit better. Remember, it's not how bright it is, it's not how colorful it is, but whether or not the picture is just right. I'm Dr. Greenwald, professor of HGTVology for PCMag.com.